I believe the industry that I'm in, you know, PR, it is, it is a race because you're constantly moving, you're constantly being pulled at. For me, it's like looking at things as if I were an athlete. If I can withstand all of, you know, just this rigorous pulling, the test of time, the constant demands, the constant calling, and just having to be in it all of the time, I would say to my, my younger self, or I'd say to someone else trying to get into this industry, that it is about being consistent and it's about being tenacious. You know, when I started my company, every you know, from family to friends, people thought I was really crazy. I really thought being an entrepreneur, like getting into that door was gonna be super easy. And it took me five years to see any growth in the company. But year five is really where we started to thrive. We started to get a lot of national contracts at that time. The name really started to mean something. While some agencies can help you get your name in the press, Sky Blue Media aims to help companies become headliners. Not only are we trained publicists, I launched my company with the help of my husband, like using his Christmas bonus check. Like it was, I need money to help to, to pay rent. And my first desk was essentially this like cardboard box from Design Within Reach. You put the desk together yourself. And I was like, I can't afford this like $5,000 desk, but I'm gonna DIY like my glamorous desk. And being able to like visualize like everything that I wanted to do, sitting at the top of boardrooms and sitting in front of these meetings. I had this mindset that like, if I want to do something, I am going to do it. I'm gonna write it down, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna put it in my head, I'm gonna visualize it and I'm gonna make it happen. And everything that I've done, I would say I've willed it myself because I've really visualized it from the very beginning. Very early on, you know, I had a couple of family members say to me, you know, you have this Afro. I, I understand that you're this natural, holistic person, but you will not get a job like that. You should straighten your hair. And I remember thinking like, wow, am I gonna get a job? Like, you know, can I be myself? And can I, you know, rock my fro? Can I like, you know, I have this name, Rakia, but like, I, I love who I am. I am a fan of my own brand. I love my hair, I'm not changing it. So there was one day, I was sitting at my desk and I get a call from HSN and Serena Williams, her manager, called my office. And they're like, hey, we need you to come fly out to come and see Serena Williams. Our first meeting was at her house. She was coming from practice. I was sitting on her sofa. She came and sat down and she was like, hey, Rakia, like I've watched some videos of you. I like the way you talk and I like the way you talk about brands. And, you know, we wanted to see if you'd like to work with my brand. And I'm like, absolutely. And after working with Serena and HSN, we started working with Ashley Graham and we started to work with our, one of our clients is Marley Dias. She is the creator of the hashtag 1000 Black Girl Books. The fact that I get to work with these women on a daily basis, so not only working with them, but I also get to be inspired by them is amazing. You know, I always like when people ask about balance because I have to be honest, I'm still figuring it out. You know, as a mother, that is a huge job. And when you have three children, a seven-year-old, a nine-year-old, and a 14-year-old, so having a teenager is just in a league of its own. Being able to not only, you know, inspire others, but having this person that's looking at you, that's taking in, that's soaking in everything that you do on a daily basis. You can never be off the clock when you have children. You go from one job to the next. Wow. So what we've done is said, like, listen, this is I know that I'm a trailblazer because I'm, you know, setting new paths for women. But I, I believe in the importance of taking my time and investing it in other women, not only in the PR industry, but who are, you know, seeking out ways to be an entrepreneur or be able to improve themselves. So I believe that, you know, 30% of my work really needs to go back to other women who are trying to trailblaze or thinking of new ways to change their lives or impact the world. Like, tell me about the world. Like, yeah. I'm a person. I love who I am. I am a fan of my own brand. I love that my name says something about me before I step into a room. My name is taken directly from the Quran. It means wisdom. And I mean, it's a whole world of understanding and meaning for who I am. I get to relate to people that not a lot of other people get to relate to. So having a name like Rakia and being able to be a fan of my brand by wearing my hair with an Afro and being my bold self, it's not only inspiring to me, obviously, but it's inspiring to the next generation of leaders.